Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today, we'll be playing some Summoner Duel Survival, and I'm really stoked for this season, because my wife, <coughs> I mean Nerthus, is a bonus unit this time around, so we'll get an extra life thanks to her. Moreover, this season the map is Desert Trees, and the captain skills are Secret Maneuver, Dauntless, and Tandem Form. It's a pretty tame selection of captain skills this time around, but Secret Maneuver is definitely a top pick this season, as you can probably tell by my teams. Uh, speaking of which, on screen, I'll be displaying my units and their builds. Feel free to pause the video to get a better look. I'm pretty happy with how all these teams turned out. Honestly, I'm not even sure which ones I would ban if I went up against myself. But goes to show how scary these are. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump straight into the first match. Alright, Lucia and Robin, insta-ban, only one of my four teams can handle that. And Team 3 looks annoying, I'm not in the mood to deal with Spring Sonya on this map. Okay, they banned my two Guidance 4 teams. That leaves me with Nerthus and Pathfinder. Um, they didn't have Tana, so I'm pretty sure they don't have Guidance 4 either. So I can go with my Pathfinder team. Uh, I don't have a far save on Team 3, and I'd really like one against their Team 4. You know what? Screw it. We're going with Nerthus. Okay, that was kind of scuffed. We were almost out of time there. Uh, swap Elliewood and Nerthus, and we're good to go. It's nice having Nerthus in the middle so that she can transform on turn one and match attack stats of everyone else. Ooh, okay, so their Ingrid does have guidance for. Okay, now I'm really glad I chose this team. I do have to watch out for cancel control, though, and just Shez in general. Alright, they draw back Maria. Their opening isn't that polished, to be honest. It would have been better if they're from Mortis rather than Shez pulled back Maria, TBH. Uh, but focusing back on my opening, we're just gonna bring in Carla and from Mortis. Can't get them in the zone, but that's fine, because Ellie Wood can just smite Nerthus oh over God. the river. Now we're threatening some space. Bro, I bet they're absolutely flabbergasted by that move. Now I got them shaking in their boots. What are you going to do, man? Need a few more merges on that for Mortis? Okay, geez, finally they make their move. Let's just pop Carla's duo skill to get Nerthus's Miracle up and running. Now I think she's safe against Shez since Miracle procs on the second hit. Uh, we should eat up her special, but I'm not going to smite her in just yet. Let's just play this patiently. I need no break. Putting Thor on the river gives the orders buff to Formortis, which is going to be helpful for next turn. But now Nerthus is not going to transform. That should be fine. We're still getting Cancel 1 from Alarm Attack speed, and I'm fairly confident she can still kill things. Um, even without bonus doubler. Oh damn, that was a really good move. She has just got the Am Force tiles protecting her. And she's still in far save range, which is good for them. But I think I'm forced to end turn here. Well, no, I definitely am. Gotta get Thor off the river ASAP. Okay, God check. Uh, not even close. Yes. Well, we definitely want Thor in position to use her duo skill. No uh, gravity's not gonna help us really much against Guidance 4, but it should help us against Grey Waves. Uh, this is actually a great spot for Thor. Uh, this map plays very horizontally, and Thor's duo skill can cover basically the entire zone here. Alright, interesting. They end turn with Ingrid, which yes. indicates to me that they're gonna dance her. Oh, good thing we got Thorin's position. Ah, oh, damn, that extra movement's definitely gonna be annoying from uh, Grey Waves. I really think I have to start going in. They're gonna have five people in the zone if they dance. So... Alright, let's just make some space with Ellie Wood. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. Fully expecting to dance here. Alright, there it is. Pretty obvious move, but still a good one nonetheless. Right, I'm debating whether or not I should put Formortis or Carla underneath Thor. If I go with Formortis, then he gets the Orders buff from Thor, which is really useful for next turn. And um, if I don't bring in from Mortis on this it? turn, he's going to be stuck behind the river, which is just a terrible position for him. 
Um, but uh, I think I'll go with Carla because I can smite Eliwood with Formortis and Kanto to the right to get next to Thor. Yeah, that's a pretty good move. It also gets Eliwood adjacent to Thor, which also gives him the Order's buff. Oh shoot, they actually draw back or rescue of Maria. Oh, nice move, dude. Okay, well, I'm forced to pop the duo skill. Nothing much I can do. Cool. Now I think we're in the clear. My opponent can't really bring Formortis to his teammates since Nerthus would just kill him. So next turn, I can have my Thor or even Eliwood kill their Maria. Um, but I think we'll still execute the plan we had earlier of um, warping Formortis down and spiting Eliwood against the wall. Oh, and for people at home who thought I should end turn now, which is probably none of you guys to be honest, um, that's actually a bad move. And the reason why is because my opponent still has two actions left, which you can see by the two blue diamonds in the top left. And what they can do is draw back Shez and kill my Eliwood of Ingrid, so I definitely need to smite Eliwood here, just to protect myself against that one potential play. Ooh, they're scared. They draw back Maria. Okay, that's fine with me. I can bring her thews down underneath yes. Mortis, which lets her transform next turn. Which is huge for the Eliwood buffs. We desperately needed those. Bro, are you serious? Chess was able to kill this entire time? Okay, okay, don't panic. We have options. I say... What a pickle. Okay, we kill Shez with Thor, so that Nerthus can still have her action. Okay, yeah, that way we can still kill Maria with her, no and get a nice, juicy two captain points. Yeah, and we're also unaffected by cancel control now, which is nice. Oh, that's so annoying. They draw back with Maria. Let's see now. Oh, we could smite Carla with Eliwood. That'd be a funny play. Honestly, not a terrible one either. But I'm kind of scared to do that though, since I'm pretty sure we need Carla to take out Ingrid. I don't think Nerthus can break through guard bearing form. Um, but we're not really threatened by any units, and if they dance Maria, we can just pull Carla back. So, What's yeah, I think plan? this is the best play. Damn, Triple Smite is so silly. But it's somehow working, it's getting the job done. Alright, they body block with Mortis. Yeah, Sacrifice Staff is just killing us right now. Although if they didn't have Armored Beacon, Carla might have been able to get that. I'm not sure if her weapon pierces through Armored Beacon or not, but I'm assuming it doesn't. Damn, bro, that's still dummy unfortunate to look at. I want to advance Nerthus so we can actually start scoring some points. But I highly doubt she's going to make a dent against Ingrid. Maybe as long as we can deplete Maria's Miracle Staff, we should be fine for the last two turns. Especially if Ingrid brings us down, or brings Nerthus down to less than half health. Cause then Eliwood can warp in and use an AoE special. Maria gets danced, and yep, yeah, that's Carla's cue to leave. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of giving up space like this, but it's not like we really have a choice. Hippity hop. Alright bro, do your worst. If they're smart, they'll just pull back their units and have Formortis and Ingrid wall me out for the last two turns. Yeah, they can absolutely play passive here. I need to be the aggressor, which I'm not very confident about. Um, bro? You still with me? Dude, they're gonna run out of time at this rate. Bro, make a move, it's not that hard. Dude, no way auto battle took over. Wait! Holy crap, Nerthus, you're a wonderful. Damn, bro, auto battle really threw Am that I match me? for them. Aw, oh, dude, that sucks. You guys want to know what the worst part is, though? Okay, so if you guys didn't know, in Summoner Duels, once auto battle takes over, you have like half a second what to stop it. Uh, normally the game would transition to the other person's turn, but because I ended we all my actions already on turn 3, it went straight back to my opponent's turn. 
and they had like no time to stop auto battle, which made Ingrid do a unfortunate suicide attack. Holy dude. I am not sure if we would have won this match without that happening. Mm, okay, Thor's can't get it. Uh, for Mortis, you're annoying. Okay, but it's the final turn, and I've won this match undeservingly. Uh, does oh, Nerthus yes. get this? Nah, pickle. she's on 1 HP. Ooh, Thor's actually getting close. We must enjoy ourselves. Mm. What's your plan? Oh, what the fey? Elliewood the beast! Holy crap! Look at all that AoE damage, bro! Jeez. <laughs> Dude, what was this match? Uh, you know what? Good games, bro. Alright, let's get to the next one. Alright, match number two. Okay, we banned four. Actually, well, we're definitely banning Tana. And I guess the only other Guidance 4 candidate would be Ninja Camilla. So we'll ban this one too. Yeah, that looks good to me. Yes, they let me use my Celica team. Alright, do we actually go for it though? Uh, we could go Pathfinder Mirror matchup. That's probably what they're going to choose. Nah, we just go with Celica. Okay, just as expected, they brought Pathfinder. Well, actually it's not, because they don't have Duo Dogger. Still a scary team nonetheless. But anyways, my opening for this team is Chef's Kiss. I definitely had the hardest time coming up with an opening I was like completely satisfied with with um, this team. Despite the fact I have a lot of coverage of Guidance 4. But that was mainly because uh, there are a lot of different ways I can go about doing this opening. I mean, like, right here, I kind of have to watch out for oh, Celeph and Krom coming in. Let's see, Krom can repo Celeph down two spaces, and he gets one, two, three, four spaces of movement, uh, which actually gives us an extra space to work with uh, next to the river. To be by his side. So we can repo Celica with Katria, and then move to the one, move right one. Yeah, we should be chilling with that move. Uh, yeah, don't think Celeph can reach us, so we should be fine. Ooh, they actually repo Krom instead. Alright. Interesting. Okay, then they're gonna get ready to use Let's a fate change, over. so we gotta pull back Katria. Yeah. Okay, there comes Anna. So now Katria's no longer in far save range, because she's on the river. Oof, that kinda sucks. They could end turn I here. So we might have to end turn as well. Hmm. Uh, that might suck for me. I think we're just gonna bring in Duma and see what they do. If they end turn, that's fine. We can just get the revenge kill with Celica. And I think we have enough speed to survive Celeph. So yeah, we'll just move in Duma. See what they do. Okay, they move in Asker. Uh... Okay, so then you can just warp in and kill. I think we might have to leave Tiki behind. I don't think she lives Krom. I'm not, uh, she might live Celeph. I don't. Th I don't really think she lives Krom though. Mm. Okay, let's use a harmonic skill. We'll just get a uh, get the AOE ready just in case. Okay, they still don't end turn. All right. Then. Yeah, we can just bring in Tiki. Damn, this is tough. We end turn here. Yeah, let's just, let's just end turn. All right, cool. We get the first move. Uh, let's do a quick Sonya check. Fine, I'm going. Yep, yeah, she easily gets that. All right, nice. Um. All right, Anna's gonna be an issue, so we gotta move Katri out of the way. Get her back into Duma's far safe range. I will not waver. Let's hop on over. I do want to get Sonya in somehow, so we can start warping. Wait for me. Yeah, we'll just pay. We'll just play this from the back. See what they do. Oh damn, they're actually repositioning. Wait, why? Are, the way. Okay. Why are they running Dauntless? I just realized. Also, Celica. Oh my gosh, that's so much AOE. Uh, yeah, I think plan, I think right? Celica can just kill their I captain. I think we waver. absolutely take that. Yeah. Okay, cool. And Celeph has no chance of outspeeding. 
Celica. Okay, they just spam duo skills. Nice. Um, they don't even want to get self out of there, so you can just punish that. Leave it to me. I think for the meantime, we'll just bring Duma up. And we'll put him right here so that Sonya can still warp in. I don't think Duma dies to Celif. Oh, they attack him with Ana. Interesting. Right? That's not going to help Let's you much. Over. There goes your Celif. And now, uh, you've only got Ninian as your melee. And there's no way she's Fine, breaking through going. Duma. Alright, bye bye, Celif. Okay, now they want to start retreating. Okay, cool. <laughs> Tiki's just been <laughs> out of commission this entire game. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just start moving her in though. Yeah, she's not doing much for me, but that's because uh, I had a kind of awkward opening this time around. My opponent was really aggressive at the start. Yeah, we'll just stall out with a Duma Duo skill. See what they do. They're still going back in. Damn, dude. Does this Ana get true damage on AoEs? Hmm. If so, I feel so bad. Damn, that just did not get it. Alright, Tilka, go ahead. Get another kill for us. Yeah, this match is over. Asker doesn't even get it either. Alright, let's go, Tiki. Nice. Okay, let's go. Alright, uh, Tiki's gonna be annoying, and- oh, we're, we're not gonna deal with Spring, Sonya. Nah, no, not- not at all. Oh wait, there's Guidance 4. Yeah, we take that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm good with these bands. <gasps> okay, <laughs> they left me with my best two teams. Uh, ooh, which one do we go with? Uh, we might- I think Guidance 4 would help us a lot against, uh, Team 1. Uh, no, we'll go with- we'll go with Bonus Subler Nerd Thews again. I definitely want to use this team more. I don't think it's better. We'll go with it. Okay, they went with Tiki. Nice. Yeah, this this team's pretty similar to the last one we fought, but I think having Duo Thor to restrict both Yuri and Solif is going to be a lot more useful than Guidance 4. May not be the case, we'll see. Alright, they immediately want to get Tiki in there. They're probably running Secret Maneuver. <laughs> so we'll just go with the Classic Smite and just try to get Nerthus in there before they can cover any ground. I'm curious to see Let's if Nerthus can kill Tiki. Yeah, we'll just go in and Smite. They'll probably dance to Yuri. Alright, there we go. We don't need to go in just yet. Let's just bring in from Mortis of Karla. And Nerthus should be safe and secure from Yuri. Oh yeah, it's gonna start threatening some space here, but we're not too worried about that. Thanks, for Mortis. Hmm. Okay, let's just pop the harmonic skill. We'll get Miracle up. I think next turn we'll try to get Formortis in the zone. Oh, they foul play and sell it. I need Wait, no that's a break. huge misplay actually. They ended their Yuri's action, so now we can just um we can just smite we in. Must enjoy uh, ourselves. Uh, Nerthus, yeah, because next turn Yuri should be stalled because she's right next Am to I Tiki. Needed? So yeah, we, this is a pretty safe kill for us. Hmm. Oh yes. Yeah, we we barely lose any health here, so and that's thanks to bonus doubler. For all I'm not too scared of Chrome, so let's just get this kill. We can't go back one, and this turn Yuri should be stalled, so we can't reach Nerthus. So we should be fine. Alright, they move in Am Tiki. Wow, Nerthu still gets that. Okay, cool, but we're not going to take that just yet. Because oh, yes. uh, we want to stay above 25% HP for all the stats. And Krom could potentially kill back Nerthu. Not likely, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So it? we'll just try to start getting our other units in. Uh, yeah, if we get Thorin, <laughs> we can use a duo skill with her. And really just, like, make them have a terrible day. And now, Formortis can also warp in, which is nice. We'll see what they do here. Okay, they repo Yuri. What a pickle. And let's just use the duo skill here. 
We want to remove all those visible buffs Krom has. So that he doesn't get a ton of stats. Okay, I think they're just auto-battling now. Yeah. For all life on land. Uh, we'll still play it slow though. <laughs> we still have tons of actions left. So bring in Formortis. And now even if they dance Yuri, and even if he could outspeed, they're not breaking through Formortis. Oh, yes. Yeah, Krom's action is gone too. So this is such a safe kill for us. Alright, there he goes, their far safe. Now Thor can also warp in and get their Krom. Uh, once he gets to my action. Yeah. I there you go. No break. And then Yuri is still gonna be stalled next turn. What's your thanks plan? to, uh, thanks to Thor. Alright, that's tough, buddy. I needed? There goes your dancer. And let's finish this with Ellie Wood. We must enjoy ourselves. <laughs> this is so BM, but I want to see this happen. Now. Yeah, let's go, Ellie Wood. Blazing Thunder. Alright, good games, bro. Okay, finally. Um, team 2 looks kind of annoying. I'm not worried about bonus doubler Dimitri, but I am worried about bonus doubler for Mortis. So, we'll take that one off the field. And then, yeah, we're going to get rid of Guidance for and Sonya. Team 1's going to be annoying because of Murr, but I think we can handle it. Oh, dude, seriously, Snow One's still banning Team 2. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that. Not at all. They could have near safe Brave, uh, Brave Edelgard. Okay, no, they went with the legendary Yuri team. Wait, this might have had the Edelgard. I don't remember. Oh, it does. Okay, is this gonna be near safe? If it's near safe, that will be a problem. It's far safe. Okay, nice. We have a chance. Well, I think we've always had a chance. Alright, cool. Now, is that gonna be Guidance for Catria? No, it isn't. Oh, damn. We should have went for our, our own Guidance for team then. Hmm, that was a misplay. What is Ooh. it? I got too trigger happy with the the Nerthus not being banned. Yeah. Oh, I should've been a bit more patient there. It's okay. We'll just do our normal opening, see how this goes. Alright, we'll put Thor right here. It's gonna suck we can't give the orders buff what to Formortis, but I do wanna keep uh Nerthus transformed to get that bonus doubler. I think next turn, you know, it should be fine if Mortis can't warp, because we still have Elliewood who can smite him up, just in case. Ooh, okay, that was actually a great move oh, by them. Yes. Oh, I'm so tempted to advance Nerthus, but I really need to keep her transformed here. Well, do I? I can move her next to Thor, and then that should punish the Micaiah. Hmm. I'll just end turn here, see what they do. We don't have to use it. We can, uh, we can keep the first move. Oh, you know what? No, I I, can, I regret that now. I should have abs I, I absolutely should have moved up next to Thor. Hmm. That was a misplay, because I, I, no I can use Thor's- I can use Thor's booster. Okay, we'll just- we'll just <laughs> recover from that. We'll smite in from Mortis. Uh... Yeah, there's no triangle attack What's active now, so we can do that. We don't have to use Thor's duo skill just yet. All right, they ended their action of fury. I, I think I'm going to smite. We will abide. I think next turn or next action, I'll smite Nerthus of Thor, and try to kill that Yuri. They can body block a fatal guard, hop. but I don't think they're going to do that just yet. They'll probably like, stall out with a uh, Catria's harmonic skill or something. Damn it. <laughs> Of course, and Nerthus is not even close. Okay, ourselves. well, we can't go with that plan anymore. Am I needed? That, uh, yeah, Edelgard and the Trench are giving Yuri oh, yes. protection he needs. I need no break. Okay, we'll just pop the duo skill, because now uh, we should be able to safely advance our units a little bit more. We'll move Nerthus up, and she'll still transform since she's next to Formortis. So we'll still get that bonus doubler effect. And now they don't have triangle attack, so we should be safe. And next turn, Secret Maneuver will give Formortis the instant Aegis. Which is nice, because everyone on their team is also going to get their specials ready. Like Micaiah's Ruptured Sky, and Yuri's Lethality. Okay, what does this do? Okay, a lot of things. Nice. We definitely want to get Carlin here. She's the only person that can break through Edelgard on my team. Maybe Elliewood, but... 
There's no way in hell he's going to be able to get in in time. Okay, I ended my turn preemptively on turn 2, so now we get the first move. Uh, they've got triangle attack active again, so Micaiah definitely kills for Mortis now. I have to prepare to get the revenge kills though. Let's see now. So we'll just smite in Carla. I think. Oh yeah. Dude, I think Thor could get this. Apparently not. Yeah, we'll just smite in Carla, get her into position to uh, revenge kill something. And it would be better if they go in with Yuri, but I highly doubt they'll do that. Okay, Micaiah gets this for sure. Yeah. Damn. Oh, they didn't even yes. need the the follow up attack on that one. What a pickle. Okay, nothing. None of our none of our units can't do anything. So we'll just go ahead and get this kill with Nerf Fuse. And that's good for us since now Yuri can't warp uh, next to Micaiah since she's dead to kill our Carla. So it's a pretty good move for us. We just have to make sure uh, Edelgard or Katria can't kill Nerf Fuse. But I think we're in a good enough position because. Katria is not getting triangle attack. Ooh, damn, that still did a lot of damage. Ouch. Okay. Hmm. It's a bit annoying. Their Katria has reposition. So does their Edelgard. So what I'm expecting them to do is reposition uh, Edelgard of Katria. This might be a mistake. I'm just gonna reposition uh, Nerthus of Carla. Now looking back on that, maybe I should have just waited. Okay, they don't reposition. That's good for me. That's really good for me. Uh, now, Nerthuz is not going to be able to transform next turn. But I'm pretty sure at this point, she's just going to be fodder. She's on 1 HP with no Miracle active. Next turn, I'm expecting Katria to reposition Edelgard. I need no break. Uh, alright, timer, shut up. Okay, we're just gonna end turn here. It is a dance from Yuri. Yeah, I didn't want to advance any of my units. We're we're on the cusp of getting terrorized by Yuri here. Look at all that threat range. Jeez. Okay, they repositioned the Yuri. I did not expect that one. Ooh, that's tough. But he doesn't he's not gonna get Kanto though. So whoever he kills, we can just kill back. They do get the captain kill, which sucks. Oh shoot. Okay, I think I I misplayed this back on turn we one. Must enjoy yeah, I misplayed this on my opening. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill back the Yuri. Uh, we wanted to save Carla's action, so I think we want to kill a Thor here. Save Carla for the Edelgard. Here we go. And they still have a harmonic skill as well as a dance. So they they. They out action us, and we had the first move, so I think this will end in a draw. Well, I'll have to do my best to not make this a loss, though. Okay, the end turn of Edelgard. What's your plan? So they'll definitely dance that. I. I'm fully expecting the reposition from Katria to get in Edelgard, which means. My turn. Okay, they dance a fatal guard. They reposition. That's two actions. Yeah, I don't have enough actions. I I have to sack somebody here. There's a dance. So yeah, someone's definitely dying this turn. Catcher repositions fatal guard. Miller gets on the tree. Two we spaces. Yeah, I just I desperately need to get Carla in a safe position. But I also can't give them zone points too. So I have to keep Carla in the zone. Ooh, that's a really tough position for me. Okay, you know what? No, we're, we're gonna end turn here. Oh, I think I lost my Carla. Maybe they kill Thor instead? Yeah, I'm fully expecting Carla to die here, which means we'll have to pray Elliewood gets this. What? They take out Thor? Seriously? Okay. We have a chance to tie this? I don't, I don't agree with that kill. Alright, Carla, abide. yeah. Let's see now. Eliwood, okay, good. <laughs> Eliwood also got it, so it didn't matter. 
We still have to be very careful though. I think after we kill Edelgard, we need to make sure wherever Katria gets danced, she can't reach us. So I think... And I think it's fine as long as we keep one person in the zone. So this is safe. We'll have Elliewood body block. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a draw now. Katria can't reach any of my units after my the dance. Turn? Damn. Oh, if, I, if on turn one, I had a... If on turn one, if I put Nerthus next to Thor, I think I would have won this. Now it's going to be a tie. All right, a draw. Better than a loss. We'll take it. It does suck this match took so long, though. It's 4 a.m. for me. I got I to gotta get these matches done quick. All right, boys, match number five. Let's get it. Ooh, an Atlas. Okay, I like that unit. Uh, yeah, we're banning Godsword, Alir. Don't want to deal with charge on this map. And uh, everything else looks okay. I guess we'll ban Legendary Robin. I don't. I don't have a Legendary Robin of my own to to match it to match stats with them. Again, Team One and Two are banned. It's like being a kid in a candy store. Do I choose this one or that one? Well, I like both teams, but did I learn my lesson from the last game when I had this choice? You know what? I'm getting pretty comfortable with Team 2, so we'll just go with that one again. I guess it looks like uh, I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> but we should be fine, though. The teams look pretty easy. Alright, Genesis, show me what you got. I think their dogger team at Elliewood as well. Actually, it's a good thing we went with our own Elliewood then. Well, I do have low speed res in my Celica and, well, Guidance 4, so uh, we would have been fine either way. What the heck is this build? <laughs> I, I think they forgot to unequip their uh, arena build on Ike. Oops. Happy New Year. What is it? Okay, they repo Asker. He's got a special ready, but besides him, uh, only Dogger is the uh, only other ranged threat. And I wouldn't really call Dogger a threat, to be honest. So I'm okay with sacking for Mortis and smiting in Nerthus for some more coverage. She should get this revenge kill, uh, we've, especially with bonus doubler. Alright bro, you just lost your Asker. Don't know what you're doing, uh, moving Ike like that. I wonder if Asker just missed a kill on Formortis then. Hmm. Yeah, and they just end turn here. Alright, so we're perfectly content oh, moving Thor into the zone. Oh, and look at Ike and Dogger right here. For those of you at home who don't know, uh, Pathfinder doesn't work on units who can't actually traverse through the space that Pathfinder unit is on. So in this case, Ike can't go over river tiles, so he doesn't get the extra movement from Dogger. And that's a surrender. Good games, bro. Alright, we got some interesting teams here. Team 3 is chock full of meta do units. And then there's Gatekeeper. <laughs> I can tell they wanted to balance the power level of Team 3 with Gatekeeper there. That's cute. Uh, teams 1 and 4 have a lot of Cavaliers on them, so they'll be pretty easy to handle. Ooh, okay, this is like the complete opposite of what's been happening so far. Okay, I'll just go with my Guidance 4 team then. We'll just completely outmaneuver whatever they bring. Kind of shocked they didn't ban this one. It's got like all the components you don't want to face in Summoner Duels. Duo Chrom, a very strong nuke and Arvel, Guidance 4, Brave Attacks, and uh, oh yeah, the brand new Far Save, which uh, I was able to free pull. Speaking of which, I definitely think Tiki is a contender for the best far save in summon duels right now. Getting that in-combat pre-charge for Armored Flow is really powerful, and that's something that Scowl and Duma's weapon don't offer. It's also really nice that she is a duo unit herself, so she kind of fills multiple roles in that way. Okay, they do that. So I'm expecting Lin to reposition Mino right, over the are. trench. So it's one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, she reaches. Leave so it to me. the river isn't completely safe for Tana to go on to, but we should be fine since we got the first move. 
they do reposition Nina, we can just have Tiki warp two spaces in front of Tana to body block, uh, body block for her. Alright, well, they don't go for the aggressive move. Let's At least not yet. Hello. So, that does buy me some time to position my other units. Um, in that case... We'll have Krom right beside Tana, since I'm gonna try to approach their team from the right side. That way, if Nina does advance, we can uh, threaten her with Kanto control. Ooh, unfortunately, Krom is one space off from proccing Kanto control. Oh, uh, Nina, if she does warp in uh, and attack Tiki. Hmm. Then yeah, we should be fine, though. There's the money move. Okay, we can just respond I'll by uh, warping Tiki into position. The trees in the middle here are helping us a ton. They're basically acting like unbreakable balls uh, for their team, since they do have three cavaliers. Damn, what is up with my opponents today? They're really dragging this out with the timer. Alright, there we go. Sure, I've been cooking go. this move for a bit. Uh, just swap Kurili with Tana and Kanto up. Okay, they decide to retreat. Uh, okay, I don't actually need to get Arvel in the zone anymore, since they only have two units in. Alright, Tana can warp and kill their Triandra, and then Kanto back to Tiki. Yeah. And we're not actually worried about Embla here, because after Tana gets a kill, she'll remove, she'll remove the undefended debuff from herself. So, we can just end turn. Uh, no real need to bring in Arvel, but uh, he is going to get left behind though. Uh, probably for the rest of the match. Alright, Embla is going to inflict Undefended on Tana, but uh, we're not worried about that. Like we planned before, we can just kill Triandra safely. And might I add, Tana, despite being known for introducing Guidance 4, is honestly a really competent unit herself. She's got that Spring Sonya warping, and uh, Kanto 1, which is honestly a nasty combination. Ooh, okay, they duo skill here. I think that grants dominance, but we should be fine. Oh, and uh, Tiki didn't even get debuffed, so we're good. So we can just take out their captain, and I'm praying, and no, I, there's no shot. Tiki dies to Elise and Lind here. We should be fine. I'm actually pretty tempted to summon on the bridal banner to try and get some Tiki merges. And oh my gosh, that did absolutely nothing. Alright, well, we got some options. Well. Arvel's just gonna die to Embla, so we can't bring them in. Does Krom survive against Embla? He's got 48 defense, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just dies since there's no way he's not getting doubled by her. Um, hmm. I'm grateful to you. Alright, it's, you know what, it's whatever. I'm just gonna reposition Cordelia to threaten their Elise. And if they kill Krom, they kill Krom, it's fine. Uh, we can just use a duo skill or end turn. Um, we've got some options, so this match is, like, pretty much over. And wow, that was not as close as I thought it'd be. Oh no, she doesn't get that! Cordelia, what the heck? Uh, we can still kill Elise, but honestly, yeah, she's the go. least threatening unit on the field. I'm pretty sure she heals Tiki more than she can do damage to her, which is kind of funny. Ooh, but I still really need to kill this Embla. Maybe duo skill? It's not really gonna help. Ooh, but this gives 10 speed. Okay, let's give this a shot. If this doesn't work, uh, I'm pretty sure Tana can body block uh, for us. She can live one hit from Embla thanks to... Arcane Nastron's damage reduction. Why not? All right, looks like uh, we don't need to. Nice. We'll put. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just leave her here. And Arvel, our team captain, is uh, keeping the bench warm for everyone. <laughs> oh, dude, it feels so bad. They didn't get to do anything this match, but uh, it's fine. And Tiki just does not die. No hardy fighter required. 
Alright, uh, let's clean this up and good games. Alright boys, time for match number 7. All these teams look pretty easy, but uh, Team 2 definitely stands out the most of Guidance 4. So we'll ban that one for sure. As for the rest, uh, yeah, Team 2 looks annoying. Although it kind of gets rocked by speed control. So maybe not. Um, okay, well, there's Guidance 4 on that Ingrid, definitely. And they have Lolina, so that's probably the preferred team. And oh, they give me both Guidance 4 teams. Um, yeah, we'll go for the stronger of the two. Yeah, let's do that. Damn, they really went with Team 3 on this map? Okay, well, they're getting rocked. Uh, there's no way Erika is outspeeding um, Solika here. Yeah, no way. Um, no merges all around. Okay, that definitely invokes some confidence for me. Alright, Bernie repos Erica, and I'm just gonna highlight her. To be by his uh, she can go down above the trench. There's no warping, so she moves down three, dance, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. Uh, mm, this is safe, so choice. we can canto to the right, which lets us uh, do a more aggressive opening uh, for this team. A more aggressive variation, which is nice. And they just kind of send we in Robin, plan. okay? Interesting. Okay, what are they gonna do next? Either way, I'm pretty sure they've already lost, because uh, every unit on their team is ranged, except for Erica. And I've highlighted Erica so that um, uh, we can body block here of Tiki just in case. But um, I've highlighted Erica so that Doom. I'm pretty sure Erica is the only unit that can actually kill Duma on their team. Maybe Mark, but that'll take some setup. So. Leave it to me. Yeah, we can do a very aggressive uh, opening here on turn one. Get all five units in. And... Yeah, there's not much my opponent can do. As long as Duma stays out of the highlighted red region, uh, we're golden. Alright, thank you for the zone points. And now it's time for a massacre. Fine, uh, we're not going to kill Robin just fun. yet, because then Sonya dies for free. So we'll send in Duma for protection, uh, for that far safe protection, and then you just need to keep Duma outside of Erica's range, because she's the only unit that can kill him. Oh, and something nice is that Celica can warp next to Duma and kill Robin, and that's actually pretty good for us, because uh, then we don't have to risk Sonya dying to Robin and oh, or Erica. And oh my gosh, that was a, a wild over. move. Okay. Um, we can kill Robin now, and yeah, we get maximum coverage from that AoE uh, from Blazing Wind there. That's amazing. And another thing uh, I want to like take note of is that it's always good to take out units that haven't acted yet, rather than killing units that have already used their action for, uh, well, you know, action economy, but also uh, to prevent your units from taking any damage, which is nice. So right here, we're going to take out Mark over anyone else because uh, we can deny them of their actions and thus win the game. Ooh, we got a big Murr fan over here. Um, yeah, well, Legendary Murr is definitely a lot scarier than Base Murr, so we'll ban that one. And um, we're going to ban that Fall Maria team because I do not want to deal with that. Uh, the rest look pretty, pretty easy, so yeah. Oh, so free. I can't believe they gave us Nerf again. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that one. And yeah, I guess it's going to be a better pick than Pathfinder, uh, regardless of what they choose. So uh, I'm cool with this. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, well, it looks like this person is a... Uh, just starting out their SDS run, so feel kind of bad uh, for them having to face me as their first, first opponent. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, ooh, and Ethereum. Plus 10. Oh, wow. 
Okay, is it far save? Okay, it is far save. Well, that's a shame for them, because uh, Nerthus is just going to steamroll them. And Guidance for Mer. Wow, this is... Uh, okay, that's pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool build. And Distant Stance and Guard for too. They, I guess they killed like a Chloe and, uh, and a Goto for that. Dang, that's crazy. Um, yeah, this is a... Uh, this is just a team of uh, their Let's favorite units, I guess, but uh, unfortunately, my favorite character in, uh, in Erthuz is just going to absolutely obliterate them. Well, actually, okay, we're going to use the harmonic skill here to charge the miracle, but that this Julia might pose a problem. Plus 10, they've got close foil. Okay, they're sending in Ethune. Great. Am I needed? Uh, they are not break. threatening much. I'm, I'm going to put Thor on this river so that uh, we can get the ground orders buff on from Mortis and get him in there. Okay. Ooh, oh, we can um, yes. we can reposition Nerthus, but we're just I think I'm just going to turn. All right, we get the first we move here. Um, we don't take out a Thune, but that's to be expected. If I must. Um, well, I'm pretty sure from Mortis is going to die here. So, our best move here is probably to just sack him what a and uh, end his turn, uh, with, or end our turn with Formortis, so that we can preserve more of our actions. Grovel in so, awe. we'll just uh, we'll just warp him in. Okay, um, I can't go in just yet because of Julia. I really just need to stall right. out my actions uh, with my other units here. Uh, yeah, I don't want to take unnecessary damage from uh, from Julia, especially since um, I don't have bonus doubler right now. Oh, and I just realized they don't have a single duo unit on their team. So I'm pretty sure either this turn or maybe next turn, um, I can just smite in or thews once enough of their team uh, has acted and uh, get a free kill. I yeah, no so I, I have a two... Well, actually, I already used my Carla's my Carla's uh, harmonic button. So I can't use that. But I still have Duo Thor's Duo button, just in case. That might be pretty helpful, because we can get rid of the Oath we must buff. Enjoy so, yeah, I think, I think I'll just go ahead and do that. A nice breeze. And a spot of shade. Okay, cool. We have three actions left, and they have four. Actually, uh, there's a good chance that... We don't do anything this turn, and uh, I guess a yeah, I guess the Elwood buffs didn't matter because light and dark uh, neutralizes those buffs anyways. Oh, they end a turn with Mer here. My turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> I've got a gambit cooking up here. We can uh, smite in from Mortis onto that tree, and if they attack into him with uh, Julia, I don't know why I said it like that. With Julia. Uh, Nerthus can, uh, can kill her. Uh, no matter where they attack from. Okay, I was definitely not expecting that one. Uh, For all life on land, well, pickle. that doesn't matter, because now we can just safely smite in Nerthus like this, so. Yeah, they are, uh, they're in a pretty awkward position right now. I've got Fomortis protecting Nerthus from Julia. And... Yeah, they're really pressured right now. Uh, someone is dying. And that unit will most likely be... Oh, Ithune can warp. That's, that's interesting. Gotta live Guidance for here. <laughs> but yeah, someone is dying to nerf these here. And uh, once I get that kill, this match is basically mine. Okay, as expected, Ithune body blocks here. And alright, easy kill here. Dang, okay, nice. Uh, Fruit of Life definitely... Actually, I don't know if Fruit of Life was necessary, but... Uh, that was uh, a juicy kill by Nerthus there. And uh, if Julia couldn't kill Formortis two turns ago, there's no way she's able to kill him now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there we go. There's the Surrender. Uh, good games to my opponent. Nope, not dealing with Team 2. That's a Guidance for Sonya for sure. Uh, but I'm torn between Team 4 and 1. I think I'll have a harder time dealing with Team 4. But 
Team 1 is highly merged and I'm screwed. I don't think I can break through a plus 10 for Mortis, but I'm just going to pray this person isn't a whale and Team 1 isn't all plus 10. Okay, well, we have a shot. They banned my guidance four teams, but uh, they gave us Nerf Thews, so let's see how this goes. What the hell? They went with the Yuri team? Bro, Duo Thor was literally on the board. She's on this team. Okay. Alright, whatever, bro. They're they're gonna try to play it tough. Ooh, but it might be a near save Aether Guard. Uh, that would be Galaxy Brain then. Nope, far safe. We're good. We win. <laughs> Let's just do our normal opening things. And just have Nerthu solo their entire team. Yeah, plan? sounds like a pretty good plan. We do have to watch out for Duo Thor though. AoE could get annoying. Um, I don't want to smite your Thews just yet, because then what Yuri can get some free chip damage in, and we don't want that. So we'll go ahead and use uh, and pop uh, Carla's Duo skill uh, to charge up their Thews' miracle. Yeah. Ooh, interesting maneuver. Two can play at that game, though. And, uh... uh I'm surprised Yuri can't kill for Mortis, because he's got, um... He's got Lethality and Wind Sweep. Oh, but you know what? I don't think Yuri got the... Uh, uh no follow-up uh, from Cordelia. So that's probably why he can't kill just yet. Alright, they pull back Yuri, which guarantees I get zone points. I but, uh, I'm gonna play aggressively here. And my reasoning is that their dual mark is in a very good position right now. And uh, I'd definitely like to take them off the board uh, ASAP. So we'll go ahead and uh, take this opportunity here of Nerthus. Ah, perfect positioning right here. We avoid the dual Thor AoE and they can't dual strike us. Perfect. Uh, Nerthus actually does a lot better than I thought she would, uh, against Edelgard. Uh, but of course, we can just, um, well, we can run away, maybe? Uh, well, we might not need to, actually. Because the way they've positioned Edelgard, none of their other units can actually attack into Nerthus. Which is dumbly unfortunate for them. Uh, fortunately for me, though, I don't have to use Nerthus' action, uh, just yet. So we can bring in some of our other units in the meantime. Uh, let's swap in for Mortis, because why not? Actually, that might have been a mistake. Because uh, now we... Because now Nerthus can't uh, reach Thor and kill her. Oops. Uh, well, that's fine, though. Uh, they will probably pop the duo skill, which will get rid of um, my bonus doubler. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Is something amiss? Well, we I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I could we use uh, my own Thor duo skill, but uh, that just seems like a waste right now. I think they just did that so uh, that Thor can get the kill on from Mortis, which I'm not sure if she does. She might. We'll see. Mm, she. Thor will probably attack from there. Yeah, uh... I don't know, let's, let's just do a random move. Uh, yeah, we'll just smite in Carla. Why not? <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, we don't have Kanto, so Ellie would uh, put in Kanto back up. That's fine. Alright, sweet. I didn't want to play that out. Okay, last match. Or... Potentially last match. Um, we haven't lost a game yet, uh, which is pretty surprising, actually. Um, before, before I jinx myself, let's see what we got here. Uh, honestly, none of these teams are that threatening. They're missing a lot of key components or units like Bridal Catria, Cordelia, Krom, Duo Asker, just to name a few. So, uh, honestly, none of these teams are that scary. And they give me my Nerthus team. Um, well, we could try the we could try out the Pathfinder team, but. I think you guys are more interested in watching uh, some Nerthu's gameplay, so we'll go with that one. Okay, I believe this team had rearmed Robin, uh, who might pose a problem if she's near save. 
Uh, we also have to watch out for their Carla, because uh, she breaks right through Nerkuz's Miracle. So we'll go ahead and immediately um, highlight her danger radius. Okay, it's far safe. Okay, we're, we're in the clear then. So we'll just go for our normal opening and just... Uh, we, might, we might actually play aggressively here, because... If we can get Nerthusen before they can advance their Karla and develop their other pieces, we should be golden. Alright, let's smite in Nerthus. And then next turn, uh, I can smite in Nerthus again with Thor. And then we're just outside of Karla's attack range. And. If we put Nerthus there, in that one little square, two spaces to the left of her, uh, we can attack into the Ale Guard. Oh, actually, never mind, now we can't. That's actually a really smart move. I, I think we're still no going to smite in Nerthus anyways, but um, what that move did, by moving Ale Guard up, what a uh, we don't inflict gravity we on Carla anymore, which means Carla can um, get the revenge kill on us if we go in. But I'm still going to smite in Nerthus just to threaten space. And the reason why I do this is because, uh, yeah, they can only get two units into the zone. Am I okay, yeah, we absolutely obliterate her. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. What is it? Um, yeah, so we can bring in Formortis and Carla, and then next turn, and for all future subsequent turns, um, we just have full control over the zone. Uh, they really, Carla really has no easy way of going in. Uh... Yeah, no easy way of safely going in, especially since they don't have near safe. Do not doubt it. Okay, I don't know why they wasted that harmonic skill. For all life yeah, that <laughs> that barely improved their matchup, if at all. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use our harmonic skill because it actually does something for us by uh, charging up the miracle. Yeah, wasting that Edelgard uh, harmonic skill on turn one. Might come back to bite them, because I'm still going to give them the first move anyways. Uh, I definitely don't want the first move with um, with my setup right now. Okay, dang. I kind of wish Nerthus uh, had Kanto remaining Am I needed? Uh, built into her kit, rather than just uh, Kanto 1. Because then we could kill Edelgard and safely get oh, out. Yes. That would be way too cheeky. So we'll just pull back Nerthus. Um... Just so we're not taking unnecessary chip damage uh, from Veronica or Camilla or even um, their Edelgard. They probably won't do anything against her. And they probably wouldn't attack into her either way. But just to be safe. And Secret Maneuver gives us an extra cooldown charge. Uh, which is very nice. All right, they bring their Robin in. Will abide. Um, I guess we'll just bring in our own far safe then. Uh, I'm pretty sure from Mortis doesn't die to Veronica. Um, without triangle attack support or brave hits, I don't think Veronica can kill from Mortis here. It might be close though. I'm not running Miracle, and Aegis is a little bit uh. Or I guess because of their own secret maneuver captain skill, uh, they've got enclosure pre-charged, which is kind of awkward for me because I'm my build is supposed to have Aegis proc on the second hit, um, which is when enclosure usually triggers. So we'll see how this turns out. Wow, Fomortis took that a lot better than I thought he would. Holy crap. No break. Um, yeah, there's no cancel control, and Nightmare what ended Aelgard's action, so we can safely kill Veronica here. And we can actually Kanto back as well. So yeah, uh, that was, that was a crazy move by them. Uh, I think they got, I think they panicked there, because they, they were running out of time on the clock. So, uh... <laughs> That was a very interesting move. I'm not really sure how they they, they can recover from feeding Veronica to me. Um, oh, that's a weird move. Okay, wait. Let me think about this. So if I attack Milo or Edelgard, I inflict gravity on uh, Carla, and she can't. I can't go back two or can't go back one space. 
right next to the tree. Carla can't reach. But then, what can they do? They can just end turn. And then they get the first move next turn. So, I yeah, okay. Yeah, we end turn here. For sure. Yeah, because if we attacked Camilla or Edelgard, inflicted gravity on Carla, they can end turn, they get the first move, and then they can kill my Nerthus. So, ending turn here was, um, was the play for us, for sure. What? Okay. That's... that's wild. <laughs> uh... They don't even can't... They, don't, they didn't even canto back Carla. Okay. Well, now I get the first move, and... We must enjoy ourselves. Okay, cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, we just get a captain kill here for free. And Edelgard can kill Thor, but... That doesn't matter, we can just kill back with uh, Ellie Wood or Carla. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, um, the action economy there uh, was really important for us. Um, it, I don't think it really mattered in the end, because we got a free kill uh, by Edelgard. We got a free kill by uh, from their Veronica. So it probably didn't matter. We would have been ahead by one point if they killed my Nerthus of Carla, if they're Carla. But it's still better to play safe than sorry, because I'm pretty sure Nerthus is the only unit that can kill their Camilla and deal with Robin on their team. Well, maybe Carla could deal with Robin. But, yeah. Uh, still want to play as smart as I can, so uh, ending turn there on uh, turn 2 was definitely the play. And we got some zone points, and uh, can Nerthus kill Robin? Yes, we can. And what is it? we inflict gravity on oh, yes. on her, so yeah, there's not much they can do. This is kind of a, a sad image. Camilla all on her it's own. Uh, Elliewood, you're oh my gosh, from Mortis, you out res the Camilla. Let's go. That's bonus doubler for you. Okay, and that was our very last win for rank one. Uh, nice color build, and there we go. 7,300 glory. And this is actually the second time I reached rank 1 for SDS. And we got to achieve that with Nerthus, so that's pretty exciting for me. Uh, it was an unconventional team for sure, but hey, we got Nerthus to work on this map, so I'm proud of her. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my SDS run, and let me know if you guys like this live commentated style of gameplay. I'll, I greatly appreciate the feedback, and of course, um, I hope you guys have a good day.